Good evening, y'all. Sorry it's taken me so long to get to y'all uh, this week. Um, it's been a busy week, busy weekend with Mother's Day. Hope everybody had a happy Mother's Day. I do plan on uh, doing some ribs for y'all this weekend. I'm excited to do those tonight. I'm actually excited. I'm going to be cooking some uh, Axis backstraps up. I'm going to chicken fry them. Y'all can do these like any chicken fried steaks. I'm going to show y'all the way I do them. First, I'm going to cut open this uh, vacuum seal bag, and I'm going to show y'all how I do my marinade. All right, y'all. First things first, I do this in a gallon size Ziploc bag. You can do this in a bowl or whatever you have. I'm going to cut open my uh, plastic wrap off camera and drain as much of this blood out as I can. I decided to do this this afternoon when I got home or this evening. So... Um, typically I would like to get these soaking about a day before. It just helps tenderize this meat. Um, but what I'm going to do, the way I do this, is I'll take, I got some milk here. I'm going to say that's about a cup of milk. I would prefer buttermilk. I don't have buttermilk. But you know a trick I've learned? I think that's about a cup. I'm going to use lemon juice. And you can do lemon juice or uh, white vinegar. And I believe it's about a tablespoon-ish to a cup of milk. And I'm guessing, and you probably could have measured it out beforehand. And what I'm going to do is just kind of mix it a little bit up. Throw some of these cutlets around. And then something that... I do just again just a little extra I throw in a little Worcestershire sauce not a whole lot just a few drops and then my secret ingredient is just some hot sauce Tabasco sauce or this is Louisiana hot sauce again not a lot I'm not trying to get it hot I'm just trying to add some flavor to it these particular steaks tonight they're not going to be marinating um, very long at all you know maybe 10 to 30 minutes at most just because time wise trying to get supper out and going um, to get this done so I'm gonna shake them up and what I do this is just my own preference I don't know that it matters or not but I try to get as much air as possible out of this bag and there's various ways to do that. You can actually use a sink with water and almost make this a vacuum dump it in water and actually make that like a vacuum bag. But I'm going to keep it just like that. And uh, we're good to go. All right, y'all. So it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and drain this fluid. Or I'm not even going to drain it, actually. I'm just going to take my cutlets here. And I'm going to put them in an egg wash. I've got... Um, I think I did seven eggs beat them up real good um, it might be a little too much but you want to make sure these are good and coated and um, if you're doing wild game like again this is um, axis deer if you're doing whitetail axis or any type of wild game make sure when you're cleaning it to get all the silver skin off and trim it up real good um, these will cook real fast they're going to be very tasty I've actually cut these fairly thick so I could have done them on the grill but they're going to eat pretty good um, like I said I did this kind of on a whim tonight so I've got all my all my steak out and I'm just going to wash this in this, in this egg wash real good and let it sit there and then as I walk after I wash my hands here in a minute I'll let these sit in this egg and take a bath I've heard uh, some people say that bathing an egg is actually good for humans also never tried it don't believe it but I'm gonna let this meat sit here in this egg and kind of marinate in that egg for a little bit just gives it something uh, for the flour to stick to and I'm going to go ahead and dump a, a little bit of flour in a bowl, like I said, after I wash my hands, get my grease going. Um, 
I don't temperature probe my grease. I just kind of go by feel, and uh, that's that's how I do it. I've got my cast iron going and my uh, skillet going, so I'll show you all, all that here in just a minute. I'll wash my hands and uh, we'll get going getting these in some grease. Alright, so I've got these in my egg wash. I'm going to move these over to my flour. And I did, you can use Bisquick. Um, and sometimes I'll season them. This is just regular all purpose flour. Drain the egg as much as possible. So, um, like I said, sometimes I'll season it with a little salt and pepper, garlic. I didn't do anything today. This is just straight flour. So um, I'll add my seasoning once we get it out of the grease. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine ten why do i count these because now i'm going to mix it all up this is where your hands can get super messy and i want to make sure i used about three cups of flour i can tell this is going to be a little much but i want to get these good and coated coat them real good in the flour see i've already forgotten how many i have so i'll have to because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands, obviously, and then uh, you shake them off before you put them in the grease. But uh, I want to show you all a little trick I've learned on how to tell if my grease is ready or not. Let me wash my hands and we'll get back to you. Okay, y'all. So I've got my grease on about a medium low. I don't want it too super hot. And what I do is I take just a little pinch of flour and you see it bubbling that means it's good to go so I'm going to take these steaks shake off any excess there's steak one there's steak two three four Five, six. I'll start with that. And we'll let these go probably about a minute and a half, two minutes per side, and we'll flip them. Alright, let's see how good they are. Ooh, perfect. Golden brown. Perfect. I can't remember what order I did. That's perfect. 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 Eh, not so perfect, but we'll do. Again, about a minute and a half, two minutes. And I could throw another one on there, but I'm going to wait for the next batch and I'll just cook them all at once. Listen to that grease sizzle and pop. I'm going to flip them one more time. And I don't know why, this is just a habit I do. Um, I guess I'm just double checking myself. I would say my grease is a tad hot, but it happens. Shake these off, boom. Boom. Looky there. Boom. Oh man, these are going to taste good. And now, there's the final product right there. And so once I get these down, I'm, I'll go ahead and season them while they're hot. Important to do that while they're hot. Use whatever seasoning you like. I'm just going to use some Lowry season salt today. Sometimes I use Cajun seasoning. I'll use fajita seasoning, steak seasoning, whatever you want. Salt and pepper. But make sure you season them while they're hot. All right, y'all. There she is. Chicken fried backstraps. Like I said, I, I just pulled out one small pack, so there's not a whole lot here, but there's enough to feed us. I'm also going to do some sausage and sides. 
But that's it. That's how you do it. Chicken fried backstrap, chicken fried steak. You do your chicken fried chickens in a similar manner also. Um, it's going to be good. Can't wait to get into these. Okay. Let's bow. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you tonight for uh, for each other, Lord. Thank you for family. Father, thank you for sending that fine deer out in front of me a few months ago, Lord. Thank you for allowing my shot to be true. Thank you for the harvest, Lord. It's, <coughs> he has made a fine meal over and over again, Lord, and tonight's going to be no different. But we thank you ask to use this food to nourish our bodies in Jesus name Amen, amen. <coughs> there she is guys I did some stuffing made a little sausage for the kids let's just see did you eat any backstrap? Uh -uh. weirdo uh -huh. the sausage is good but we don't know about the backstrap what about the stuffing you picked out? Yeah. The did, you, did you try the back strap? Mm -hmm. It's good. I like the seasoning on it. And I like the fried part. The fried part and the seasoning. That's a good smile. <laughs> the sausage is good. Sausage is good. That you didn't try no back strap? More for me. It is delicious and it's super tender. <clears throat> Super tender, and I didn't even marinate it very much. It's that's really that's tender that. and really good. So, here we go. One last thing. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And she's going to say that one more time because we can't hear her with her hand over her mouth and mumbling. Mm. Oh, we'll wait for her. Oh. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Because then you'll be helping us out a lot. Because we want... Um, we want subscribers and likes and more views, so make sure you watch our videos, all Amen. of them. Amen.